Double honors unto the apostles of great millstone. Honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So this video here is going to be a quick video. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be dealing with the uh, thing of um, these countries teaming up against uh, the United States uh, in an effort to um, uh, make waves or move around the, um, the uh, sanctions that America has imposed upon them. Okay, and I'm gonna approach this video in the uh, in the sense of um, of the you know the grand mindset of the uh, the Edomite race, which is to have everything, okay, and, and and not to give nothing nothing back, okay. The scripture talks about how his heart, the heart of the Edomites, okay, the Red Hebrew Edomites was that they was never gonna be satisfied. That's within the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, which I'm gonna get into. Uh, 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 um, a little bit later on, just a footnote. I just seen it on the news right now. They got an Ebola outbreak um, again. Okay, so that's what that's in Demo Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm just watching the news in the background right now. All right. Um, yeah, they got the they got the Ebola uh, outbreak. World Health Organizations uh, will not declare global public health emergency. So this that's going to be a big thing. So that's just a footnote. I'm just watching that in the background. But to continue on with this video here, um, essentially, you have the United States um, put all kind of sanctions on these different countries out here, all right, uh, within the world, and these uh, that was in an effort to um to well, you know to slow down. What was it? it was it was the um, uh, 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 whether it was their own kind because they all slow down each other. Uh, their their own so called fellow Edomite, uh, 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 um, um, what do you call it? Contemporaries. You know, for lack of a better word, they'll slow them down from making money. Like during the so-called was it the world, the Second World War? Correct me if I'm wrong. That was started because Germany was getting too industrialized. It had it was begin, beginning to get too much market dominance. Okay, all wars are bankers' wars, and a lot of a lot of the times you have wars play out within the world. Those wars play out as a direct consequence of someone having some kind of idea. Okay, or trying to come up with a particular uh, 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 way of, of, of commerce, like Gaddafi comes to mind, he was going to have the gold back currency, okay, uh, um, and that would have been in direct competition to, to the United States. So they bombed the hell out of it, man. Okay, and that's the nature of, um, that's the nature of the beast, man. All right, the Edomite, the Red Hebrew Edomites, whether you're talking about the Russian Edomite or the, e the, the German Edomite of the, or the American Edomite or the British Edomite, the French, the Spanish they all function in the same uh, in the same manner. Okay, they just can't chill. They gotta uh, have everything, man. Okay, and and this new era that we we're entering into, you're seeing these nations like India, China, and also Russia's involved in there. They eat the mice, but they're they are they 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 are um, they you know they're on the other side, so to speak. Okay, they're joining up forces. Okay, to um try rebuttal these sanctions that these the, the United States has imposed upon them. And them sanctions, they're like a, a um, they're like a a, 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 a a whip, man. Okay, they're like a whip. Even as you got an oil resource, um, well, more oil, okay, a, a resource intensive country like Venezuela, and they can't even sell their oil out to the um, to the to the to the other countries. I believe it's oil that they got, amongst other things. They can't even sell that off to the other country to to, to make money to help their people out. Because they got all kind of sanctions imposed upon them. The same thing with Russia. The same thing with Iran. Okay, there's a, a lot of uh, uh, sanctions being imposed on Iran right now. All right, because they're so-called developing a nuclear weapon or they're developing nuclear power or whatever, whatever. And 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 and, and now their so-called uh, growth economically is being slowed down because of the sanctions. All right, that America's put upon them. But all these countries are what they're now teaming up against each other. All right, and ultimately, what that's going to lead to is going to lead into a, it's going to come to a head, man. It's going to be an all-out world war because the sanctions ain't going to stop, and these nations ain't going to stop teaming up, and therefore you're going to have an all-out all world war. Remember what this dude? Um, I forget his name. Okay, from the, the guy that watches the, the the markets and that, the expert in it, is it Max Kaiser or something like that? He said, "Oh, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, a uh, trade wars lead to um, bankers' wars." Uh, sorry, not trade wars lead to hot wars, okay? 
And that's what you're going to have. You're going to have people out here. They're going to go, you know, they, they're going to leave off of the sanctions and they're going to go head to head, man. So let me read a little excerpt of this and I'll go into the scriptures. So it says, in a new era of cooperation, uh, Russia and China form alliance against the United States. And if you go on RT right now, there's another article that's dealing with uh, India and China forming an alliance against the United States. Uh, 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 um, um, the sanctions is being put upon them. Okay, so these countries are turning against who? They're turning against America. Even though they made all kind of treaties and they made all kind of money with America, okay, now they're turning down, now they're turning against them because the reality of the, uh, uh, the beast man is that they're gonna be sweet words when you're signing contracts, but inwardly they're looking to cripple your your country's economy. And then once they've crippled your country's economy, they're gonna take whatever they want from where from, from whatever country you be living at, man. Okay, whether you have diamonds out there, a lot of people look at look at Africa and they say, oh, you know, what's going on in Africa? You got some jakes out there, they're talking about go back to Africa. Man, before the Chinese went up into Africa, Africa was crippled economically so that they could just pull all kind of resources out of Africa, okay, and move it into the into the um into the into the into the so-called Western world, man. Okay, a lot of people don't realize the the worst the, the decadent lifestyle of the West. Okay, is off of the back. Where where'd you get your soul? Where'd you get where'd you get that that stuff that makes you decadent, man? Okay, an iPhone's gonna be made from parts. Where do those parts come from? And those are usually the most poverty-stricken countries. Now that goes to show you that what that this man's truly the devil because the so-called countries where the resources are being taken from, ain't no money going back in there, man. Okay, because they economically economically cripple those places, and after economically crippling those places. That's when they get everything up for cheap, man. Okay, so it says there. Uh, um, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't have to go into the article. You can see what, it, what it's all about. Okay, these nations are teaming up. Okay, uh, against America, man. All right, now let's go into the scriptures. I mean, like I said, you can, you, you can, you can get the gist of what this this precept is dealing with. All right, uh, not this precept. The article was dealing with. Now let's go into the book of um, Isaiah, the fourteenth chapter, Isaiah fourteen, and. I'll go straight to the point. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 5, it says, The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked. Now, the ultimate staff, okay, is, what is it, ultimate staff? I believe the, the, the yeah, the, the staff, you could say that the staff is the ICBM nuclear missiles. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you, I believe you could say the staff is the nuclear missiles. And that's the uh, superiority that these red Hebrew readers have on the nations of the world. Okay, they have this the, the superior uh, 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 um, nuclear arsenal. All right, uh, um, and that's what they've used to, to to cripple economies. Okay, if you're the Democratic Republic of Congo, or you're the Yemen, or you're Iran. Okay, when America says, "Look, this is what's going to happen within the global economic sphere," all right, you got to get down with the program because guess what? All right, if you don't get down with the program, they're gonna bomb the hell out of you. That's why they got this thing now of um, Iran. Okay, shut down that tanker or whatever, whatever, because that's all that that's all that's all a thing that they create. Okay, a smoke and mirrors to let to let Iran know that what that look <laughs> we we can come in there and we could we could we basically we could we could bomb the hell out of you should we desire to, man. So you better fall back in in, in the line of uh, uh 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 what we um what we expect you to do. Okay, which is to which which is to fall in line. Okay, uh, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and a scepter of the ruler. Um, he who smote the nations. Okay, so the Lord's actually going to break that superiority, their so-called nuclear superiority, man. The Lord's going to break that. And how's he going to break it? You go into the, the, the book called the, called the Apocrypha, which is a part of the scriptures. All right, you find out there's, there's a scripture in there within the book of Second Ezra, the 16th chapter that says, uh, 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 the Lord, all right, uh, Second Ezra, the 13th chapter, rather more. Okay, how the Lord's going to make his appearing with the father ship. And when the father ship appears, okay, the, the nations of the world are going to try to fight up against the, 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 you know, the, the son of the heavenly father, the rubber more. Okay, and they're going to fail. Also to the book of Revelations, the 12th chapter, all right, there was war in heaven and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon prevailed not. Not the, the, the dragon prevailed. No, the dragon prevailed not. Okay, the, the scepter of the ruler prevailed not against the superior power the superior spiritual power that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Kadash is going to return with the earth to with all right he who smote the nations with a with, with wrath and with continual stroke okay what is what's what's a what's a what's a what's a what's an example of the continual stroke the um ICBM 
I know, I, yeah, with the ICBM nuclear missiles, economic welfare, okay, the sanctions that they put against these countries, man. And they basically do that just to, just, just to fuck with people and take their stuff, man. Okay, so what's going to happen when you're constantly fucking with people and taking what's theirs? You're going to have a situation where these nations are going to retaliate, okay? And you're seeing the first retaliatory steps where these nations are saying, look, let's come together. Let's make a pact. Okay, let's just trade amongst ourselves. And once that gets stopped, people are going to re retaliate on a physical level, man. Okay, that's where you're going to have a World's War Three. That's why you go into the book of Ezekiel, the 36th chapter, 38th chapter. I forget which one. It says the hooks was going to be put in Russia's jaws to drag them out into that war, man. All right, he who smote the, the, the people with a continual stroke, he who that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth, which means none stopped. None stopped. No one's going to stop, okay, the Red Hebrew Edomites from being uh, uh, jacked up, man. By the by, way of the heavenly Father. Okay, the people of the earth are going to rejoice, and that's what's going to say here. The whole earth is at rest. Why? Because this, the the man that put sanctions on everybody, bummed the hell out of everybody. Okay, uh, 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 um, tariff here and tariff there. That man is going to be removed from the earth, and the righteous ruler is going to be going to be put there to replace him. <coughs> the whole earth is at rest and is quiet, and they break forth into singing. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. So with that, I'm going to say, all praise unto you, Abba Hashim, Asha, Abba Hashim, Kaka, Dash, Double honors unto the apostles, the great millstone, honestly, brothers, that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.